Hi everybody, Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine. You know, I've got a problem, and if you're watching this video right now, you probably have this problem too. I don't want to work, I don't want to play, I just want to fish. I don't care what the conditions are, I don't care what day of the week it is, I want to fish. I want to go inshore, I want to go offshore, I want to cast the shallows, I want to jig deep. I want to fish. You feel the same way? You might want to check out a World Cat 235 TE. The first and most important thing to know about this boat is it is a power cat. You can run it in conditions that other boats of its size simply can't deal with. The second thing you need to know about this boat is that it is in fact designed for serious fishing. That TE stands for Tournament Edition. You've got a live well right here in the transom, cooler boxes on both sides. Back here, pair of tackle boxes. Again, on both sides, you've got eight flush mount gunnel holders in total going around the boat, four rocket launchers on the back of the leaning post, and five more up on the hardtop. Under the leaning post, of course, we got the slide out cooler and we have a bulk storage drawer. And I just got to point out, this is a seriously beefy leaning post. I really like this arrangement and added bonus, even without pulling out the tray, you can still access the cooler, reach in there and grab a drink. You've also got rod racks, three on each side of the console. And what I really like here is, if you have longer rods, it's not a problem. It give you the little spot there in the hard top to insert it. Both sides of the cockpit, you've also got fish boxes in the deck. Up in the bow, got a forward seat, of course, but what you're more interested in as an angler is this box under here. And of course, you can pull this cushion leave it at home in the garage, and you get a little forward casting deck. Now at this point, you may be saying to yourself, well, obviously it's a very fishy boat, but there's not a ton of seating. But up here in the bow, I love this, you've got big bench seats that fold out from the gunnel. So you can turn this whole area into seating. But when you fold it flush, it is really completely out of the way. In fact, it even acts as sort of a tow rail really makes it an excellent bow cockpit for fishing. And while this is a serious hardcore fish boat, people, it never hurts to have a head inside the console compartment. Hopefully, folks, you've noticed at this point, every time I lift a hatch, it's fully finished on both sides. The fit and finish everywhere looks really nice on this boat. And a great example of some extra detail work, look inside the console at the rod racks, you'll see they're actually plumbed to drain. Up here at the helm, you've got plenty of room for electronics lighted push button switches and one of the awesome things about cats is the engines are spaced widely apart so the yamaha 150s back there i can oppose them and this boat will spin on a dime i can maneuver it however i like and right now what i like is to maneuver it towards the bay because we're going to go for a ride let's get out there hammer time 3000 rpm we're already on plane doing it in the mid 20s 4,500, we've got a speed in the mid-30s. We're doing 37 right now. Let's see if we can get wide open. Oh man, it is bumpy. You know, people, I understand that the seas probably don't look huge in this video. They never look as big on camera as they are in reality, but believe me, it is plenty lumpy today. Now, I got the boat up into the low 40s, running around 5,000 RPM. It really is too much for me to do top end today. Fortunately, we got Chris here from Bosons. Chris knows this boat. Chris, what have you seen this boat do? I've been able to do about 47 miles an hour wide open on this boat, but WorldCat has done a test on it and they've reached 51 wide open. Okay, well, it seems to me from what I'm seeing, this probably is a 50 mile an hour boat. One final note I want to leave you with people. Look at this windshield. We caught a little bit of spray today. No wonder considering these conditions, any boat of this size would. What's important to notice is I'm dry. This is a really serious structure that gives you complete protection at the helm. If you're looking for a boat of this size, you can take out and fish no matter what the conditions. This WorldCat 235 TE might just fit the bill. Don't miss another cool fish talk video. Click below to subscribe.